the dead spot on the racket with a lot of the new technical advances from Babolat and Zep and elsewhere, they'll give you a readout of where you're hitting the ball on the string. And from what I can tell, a lot of people are a little disturbed by this because it either says that you're getting a lot of balls in the sweet spot or you're getting it off center. But there's a particular off center that I think matters more than any other. When they talk about the center of percussion and the node and the sweet spot, what they imply is that you get a much better rebound from the middle of the racket. But the dead spot, as I'm reading, is actually not on either side or here, but it's up towards the end. I'm going to call that the dead spot and this the sweet spot. Now I'd like to try to show you a stroke, one that's called outside in, one that's called inside out, and in reference to the most common mishit that I see at our club, where people mishit the ball in the dead spot. So if we imagine a ball is coming to me along this sideline, just for reference, and I'm stroking the ball, a side spin stroke, you prepare beyond the ball, and you pull inside. And I think what you can see is that it would be curving this way, but as long as I'm timing it so that the sweet spot is above the line, I'm not mishitting, but this would be a mishit. But here's the most common error that I think occurs in tennis. They talk about how top spin is supposed to be inside out. And what that really means is you're trying to, to find the line of the swing such that when people pull on top spin, they're almost always getting an off center hit. And I'm pulling across on top spin. And I'd like to give you the opposite look where I'm actually swinging in that direction, which gives me a much better chance of getting it in the sweet spot. So this will be a look of, I've heard this called scissoring from a friend of mine named Doug. And I'm gonna scissor a few more. But it feels like I got the racket going that way and the racket and sweet spot going that way, which counteracts. Here's the classic at our club miss hit. And now I'm gonna scissor a few. And I think as you watch, the other thing I notice about these new strokes where the racket comes this way, but the hitting action was that way. And as you play, and if you get one of these Zep or Babolat devices, really start to monitor where you are in the sweet spot. Or if you don't have that, then just listen to your hits. Can you play in the sweet spot? And if you do, you'll hear it.